<laughs> Hi guys, thank you for joining us for story time. We do not own the rights to the instrumental that you may hear. <laughs> Stop. And tonight, I'm going to be seeing the Anna Ranger. Tonight we will be reading uh, Disney's Frozen, Olaf's Job. chambers he said what you have to say it with excitement it's all let's jump in leaves let's jump in leaves but she was in a meeting with an ambassador from a faraway country i'm sorry olaf i have to work today uh, why does olaf have to work uh, does he have a computer In the hallway, Olaf saw Anna. Maybe they could slide across the castle's clean, shiny floors. Anna said, I wish I could, Olaf. My job is to help Elsa with her royal duties while she meets with the ambassador. Hello. So Olaf went to the castle courtyard to find Kristoff. Can we ride Sven around the fjord? Fjord? Ex Olaf. Sorry, Olaf, Kristoff said as he hurried by. I need to do my job right now and sell some ice. Oh, man. Everybody's ice, so that's, busy. Uh, that's cold ice. Anna had, the, Anna had said the word job, too, but Olaf wasn't sure what it meant. Excuse me, can you tell me what a job is? He asked the little boy in the square, but the little boy just shrugged. Like, I don't know what a job is either. Good. It's nice to not know what a job is. Until <laughs> <So> you have to. <laughs> Luckily, Gerda, one of Anna and Elsa's loyal servants, was passing by. She took Olaf by the hand and brought him back inside. Jobs are responsibilities that people have to help the castle and the kingdom, she explained. I like to help people, Olaf said. Can I get a job? Of course, said Gerda. Come to the kitchen with me, and we'll find you one right away. Olaf was so excited. Olaf by a straight guy. The kitchen was a busy place, full of many different delicious Mom, you, foods. Mom, you could have just said the, I straight by. The cook showed Olaf how to sort vegetables so they could be used in different recipes. Oh, we like vegetables, Art. Uh-huh, I like them. They are healthy and delicious. Yeah, Eva doesn't know what... Like she likes some vegetables. Yeah. Olaf loved his new job being a vegetable sorter. The kitchen was warm and cozy, and the vegetables reminded him of his nose. Hmm, maybe he could find a new nose. He tried a mushroom, a tomato, and a radish. A radish? I like radish. You don't even know what a radish is. It's a vegetable. 
Just then, a man carrying two strange looking brooms entered the room. Did someone call for a chimney sweep? He asked. Oh yes, Gerda said. The dining room chimney needs cleaning. Are you doing a job? Olaf asked. Can I help? The chimney sweep smiled. Yes, and yes. Yes. I want to help. Olaf followed the chimney sweep up onto the roof. I'll teach you, he said to Olaf. First, you lean down into the chimney and... But Olaf leaned too far in and fell. Woo! Called, called Olaf. I like this job. The chimney sweep tried to catch Olaf, but the slippery snowman slid from his grasp all the way down. Wow. Funny. Don't be like Olaf. What? <laughs> funny, the chimney man needs to teach you? Yes, and then you guys can do mine. Once you learn how, then you can do mine. <laughs> I don't want to do yours. I'm going to do my own. And landed in the dining room with a cloud of soot. Olaf thought it matched his buttons. Everyone was getting ready for the ambassador's dinner with the queen. Everything needed to be spick and span. Even Olaf. Even Lala. Olaf. So Olaf went outside and shook himself clean. Wow. Wow, that feels good, he said. Hey, said a nearby stableman. This is the horse's ambassador. Horse? This is the horse. I'm sorry, y'all. I can uh. read. This is the horse the ambassador is borrowing. And you are getting soot on it. What? Soot. Stop. It's from the fireplace. From the fire. Yes, it's that black stuff. Like when you see the fire burning in the fireplace. All the black stuff. It's called soot. Olaf watched as the stableman began to brush the soot out of the horse's fur. Is that a job? Olaf asked. Yes, the stableman answered. Would you like to help? Olaf is very helpful. He needs to come to my house. And even even, even he has to clean my room. So I don't have to worry no, about No, you him. need to clean your room. No, he doesn't. He's so, helpful. He so helpful. Olaf and the stableman worked together all afternoon. First, Olaf gave the horse some hay. And then he took the horse for a walk. And lastly, said the stableman, he goes back into the stall. I'm gonna pet the horsey with this thing. With, with this thing on my head. <laughs> Don't forget to latch the door, called the stableman as he moved on to another task. But Olaf thought the horse looked lonely, so he left the stall door open a tiny bit. You need to be able to visit your friends, Olaf whispered. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He left the door open. Left the door open. Olaf was almost back to the castle when he heard a commotion. The horse had escaped from his stall and didn't want to go back. The little snowman looked at the horse and waved. Good horse. I'll see you soon. Olaf called, not realizing he was the cause of the excitement. Olaf couldn't wait to tell Elsa and Anna about the day he had and surprise them. When he found the sisters, they seemed tired and quiet. Hello, said Olaf. Did you finish your jobs? Elsa nodded. Sometimes I wonder how our parents managed the kingdom so well. Olaf looked at the two girls and then pointed a picture. Pointed out a picture. Oh my goodness. And then pointed at a picture behind them. They're smiling because they're so proud of you. Oh, that was sweet. Wow, Anna really looks like her mom. Look at me like they're not cartoons. Anyway. <laughs> Stop reading now. Then Olaf told them about all. Then Olaf told them all about his own day. <laughs> From the kitchen to the chimney to the stables. And he gave them a present. It was a special bouquet. The girls laughed and laughed. Thank you, Olaf, said Anna. 
You always know how to make us smile. And that is your real job. And that helps us run the kingdom, said Elsa. Oh, the special bouquet is very cute. You see it, the special bouquet? What is a bouquet? It has vegetables in it. I <laughs> like. I like the bouquet. That was very creative. Elsa and Anna, Olaf said, you do the best job ever. He gave them a big hug. Being my best friends. Being my Aww. best friends. That's nice. Because love is an open door. God. Door. Love is an ah. open door ah. with you, with you, with you, with you. Love is an open <laughs> Well, that was Frozen. Disney's Frozen, Olaf's job. Uh, Olaf was a very good helper, even though he caused even a little commotion. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic don't have nothing to do. Get out of here, Sonic. <laughs> hey, All guys. Right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And then Tamika will pray for us, please. Tamika will pray for us. It's not, it's not Mary Seen to not be able to pray. And we're going to sing a song. What song are we going to sing? What Christmas song, guys? Let us know. What song? Blah, blah. blah what blah. Christmas song blah. should we sing tonight? We should. Sing tonight. Oh, sing we... tonight. Mom, what I know. Song I know. Mom, 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 mom. Yes. Yes. Mom. Yes. Can we hear? We miss you. Mommy. We sing. Then we sing. No. We I want to already. hear it again. <sighs> yes. My mommy's. Well, guys, my mommy's acting a little weird, so she doesn't want to sing Merry Christmas. Silent Night. Silent yes. Night? Seriously? Silent Night right there. I'm like... We well, can sing one verse of Silent Night. Ready? Si no! And I ring bells. Oh, Silent man. Silent Night. Ah. Like you're the baby. Holy Night. <laughs> Sorry, I had to call. Ah, la, la. <laughs> All is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child, or children, holy infant, so tender and mild. That was Silent Night. The next song we have is, that was requested, is Don't You Touch a Thing, Little Boy. Oh. Stop. <laughs> All right. The next song we have is. Is me, we miss you a Merry Christmas. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, Carol. No, no, Mom. Do you hear we wish you a Merry Christmas? Um, All right, we're going to sing a second of it because this song um, is kind of loud. Mommy, can we hear? I we wish you a mom. Mommy. Yes, we're going to sing that last. It's not funny. We don't want the rest of the instrumental. I want the hippopotamus for Christmas. For Christmas. That's what um, Ava played for the recital. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No, don't want a dog. No dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. No one no hippopotamus for Christmas. This is the words a little slow. I don't think Santa Claus will mind you. He won't have to use our dirty chili <laughs> Just bring him through the front door. That's the easy thing to do. I can see me now on Christmas morning. Creeping down the stairs. So with joy and with surprise. When I open up my eyes and see a hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No crocodile, no rhinoceros. I only like hippopotamuses, and hippopotamuses like me too. Woo, that was good. 
That's all I got for I want a hippopotamus. Mm. Stop, Samir. Chill out. You, you sit you, down. You told this. Okay, and our last song is we be 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 No, you said quick. we miss you a merry a quick, Christmas. Quick, quick, it is we wish you a merry Christmas, but it's going to be very quick. Mm -hmm. We can sing it now. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Guys, that was We Wish You a Merry Christmas. We will be back. We will have a special story time on Christmas Eve where we will have some special guests that you've never met. It's and you so much for joining us for story time. And and Hello. Samir wants to get in trouble tonight. No, 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 I do not. I don't want. So it's time for us to pray, Samir. Please pray for us. Thank you so much because you're such a big kid. We're going to pray that everyone has a safe holiday with their family and friends. Thank you. Let's pray. Okay. God's great. God's good. We thank you for this day. And that we pray for Mommy, Daddy, Pop, Pop, and Nana. That we pray for them. That they keep safe. And that we pray for um, our family and our friends. That we keep them safe. And a safe holiday. And safe holiday so that me and my mommy... So we can go on vacation, and then so we can make some money, mm -hmm. and then, and then, and then I want to go to um, Marie's house, mm -hmm. and even my mommy too, so that we can, so that we can get a nice so rest at um, Marie's house, mm -hmm. and that we, and that we make sure we do. We have a great time. We have a great time. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. God, we thank you for this day. We pray that everyone would have a wonderful holiday weekend with their family and their friends. We pray for traveling mercies on the road that you would keep them safe, God, especially with the weather that's supposed to be coming up. It's supposed to be bad weather. So, God, we just pray that you would protect the drivers, protect them on the road, keep them safe, allow no harm to come to them, their vehicle, or their family members. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ooh, I'm going to do it. Guys, thank you thing. so much for joining us. We will say and, and even so long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, I said goodbye for now. Until we meet again. It's like, no. <laughs> My mommy's thinking weird. Until we meet up again. Peace. Yeah. We're baby. Peace out. Be like. Get out of here. <laughs>